we have a 2015 in open internet regulation that we all worked very hard. It was it came right after a similar debate, if you remember, back in 2012 when Wicked was taking place. Etno, which is you know the European Telecoms uh, Network Association, just you know came together and the sender party pays proposal was again on the table, more international. It was rejected left, right, and center, if you remember, mm-hmm. back in the day. Then it was broke, brought sorry, into Europe, and we had an extensive discussion. And in 2015, Europe really became one of those steady and, and um, stable uh, supporters of the idea that we should not prioritize traffic, we should not mess up with traffic, we should ensure that users are able to access the traffic as they intended to, which is reflective of how the internet architecture works. And those discussions were long, they were painful, the, you know, a lot of resources were spent. And I am, the reason that I'm asking the question why we're going backwards is because it feels like that. It feels like we are, you know, we are disregarding those conversations. We're disregarding all the time that people spend, all the resources that people spend. And I'm talking about volunteer time. I'm not talking about the resources that big technology companies or big telcos have spent. I'm talking about users participating in this exercise. And six years down the road, we have a new uh, seven years where it is, we have a new commission that is willing to reopen the same debate and have the same conversation when there is no evidence that we actually need this conversation anymore. So that is why I feel we're going backwards.